Welcome back to PT Time with Tim. I'm Dr. Tim, a licensed physical therapist. Today I'm going to discuss Dequervain's tenosynovitis, which causes thumb and wrist pain. But first, here's my medical disclaimer. Dequervain's tenosynovitis is an overuse injury of the tendon and the sheath that surrounds the tendon in the, in the thumb muscles. So those muscles run down the wrists here to the back side or the top side of the thumb. And those muscles basically become irritated and, and inflamed. If you're looking for my full article on Dequervain tenosynovitis, head on over to pttimewithhim.com for my free article. My first recommendation for anyone with thumb pain is to get a thumb spica splint, which is like a small wrist and hand brace that wraps around your thumb and it helps to reduce the stress and the use of your thumb. So it kind of helps the thumb rest and those thumb muscles rest so that the healing process can, uh, can progress. So my first exercise that I want you to do is to simply massage the muscles. Whenever the thumb muscles become overused and inflamed, they tighten down and so they'll be really tight and tender. So we need to relax those muscles which will help decrease that pain. So the thumb muscles uh, basically originate from the inside of the arm. So if you move your thumb around, you're gonna feel that pain, but if you trace up the muscles into the forearm, you're gonna find some really tight and really tender muscles up there. So put some lotion on your hand and identify those tight, tender areas on the inside of the arm. When you find those, gently massage them and help uh, reduce that tension over time. You can start out nice and light and then just keep working it all the way down to the wrist. So just be nice and gentle, but spend probably three to five minutes massaging those muscles. All right, so our next stretch is a direct thumb stretch. And basically, we gotta be very careful with this stretch because if you do it too hard, you can definitely make it worse. So we gotta be very mild with this stretch. We definitely don't wanna push too much into the pain. But what you'll do is bend your thumb down into your palm. So wrap your fingers around your thumb. And then from this point, you start to angle the hand down towards the floor. So I've got this like hammer fist position starting out. And then I start to angle it down towards the floor, which puts some tension through the, those thumb extensor muscles on the top side where we were just massaging. But I'm only gonna go down to the point where I start to feel the onset of either stretch or pain and stop right there. Do not push through the pain, okay? You wanna be very mild with that. Hold that for about 10 seconds and then come out of it completely. Again, wrap the thumb with the other fingers. Gently angle down towards the floor until you feel the onset of that pain or stretch. Hold 10 seconds. And so we'll do that about 10 times in a row. So 10 seconds, 10 times for the thumb stretch. Our next exercise is submaximal isometrics. So for this exercise, we're gonna hold our thumb extended outward and then find the direction that causes pain with your thumb. So typically it's either extension like straight up like this or it's out to the side towards me. So you find the direction that kind of activates that tendon and that muscle that, that's uh, painful in there. And then we're gonna gently resist the thumb into that same direction. So we're not gonna move the thumb, we're not gonna let it move, but we're gently pressing against it. So we are getting some contraction through that painful muscle and tendon, but we're not pressing so hard that we feel a lot of pain. So our pain isn't skyrocketing here. We're just gonna gently press probably like a 30 to 50% maximum effort on this and we'll hold it for about five seconds and then relax and press again, feeling that a little bit of tension through that painful muscle and tendon, that's okay. So we do this 10 times in a row and by the end of it, you should have some relaxation in that muscle and tendon unit there. All right, so our next exercise is a gripping exercise. So I took a hand towel and I rolled it up, and this is the most basic form uh, for gripping, but you just roll up the hand towel and you squeeze it with your entire hand, making sure you get some thumb activation to it. Again, only squeezing it so hard that we're not uh, going up to the onset of pain, pausing and then releasing, and we'll do 30 of those. 
Now, you don't have to use a hand towel. I actually really like using a stress ball, you know, those, those little squishy stress balls, those work perfectly for this. But you can also use like a tennis ball or um, anything that's kind of soft but firm enough that you can kind of squeeze it. So get 30 repetitions of those. Okay, so for our next exercise, my dog Gracie has joined us. I don't know if you can see her on the screen, but hey. Okay, so you need to head into the garage and find a hammer. It can be a little ballpoint hammer or kind of like the one I have here, uh, which whatever you have laying around. Typically, we start off with gripping it in the middle of the shaft here, so that, that'll give us less torque on the hand. Uh, but you're gonna have your arm resting on a table like so, and then we start to lower the hammer down until it's parallel with the floor. And then we raise it up and over all the way over to the other direction. And so it's just slow and controlled, both directions. And so up and over is one repetition and we'll do usually two sets of 10 to two sets of 15 of these. Now, if this is just way too easy for you, then all you do is grip it at the bottom of the handle. So now you have the, the weight at the end, which creates a lot, of, a lot more torque and then a lot more work for the hand and wrist. Our next exercise is using a rubber band for finger extension. So I've got a rubber band and you wrap it around all the fingers and the thumb included. And then you extend out all the fingers, spreading all the fingers out against the band, pausing and then back. Now, if this one, again, if this one causes pain, try to find a, uh, a smaller rubber band, a looser rubber band, so that there's not as much resistance. So you could start with the lighter one in the beginning and then advance up to a bigger one like the one I have here. But you'll do two sets of 15 of the rubber band finger extension. Our next exercise is using a TheraBand flex bar. So these are awesome to use for hand and wrist injuries. So basically, I will link this in the description below so you can find it. But we'll take the flex bar and I'm going to grip it with both hands. And then I'm going to twist it like I'm wringing out a towel or a, like a wet towel. And so I'm going to twist it one direction for two sets of 15. And then I'm going to go the opposite direction for two sets of 15. So we're getting both wrist flexion and wrist extension. The next exercise, again with the TheraBand flex bar, is a pronation and supination exercise. So I have it resting on a table. It's key to keep your elbow against the table as well. So if you have your arm elevated, you can cheat a lot with the shoulder, all right? So make sure the elbow stays down. And then you're just trying to flex the bar over top of itself. So I'm trying to bend it over top of itself for two sets of 15. And then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to do the exact opposite. So right now I'm trying to take the back of my hand and tap it to the other side for two sets of 15. Thanks for stopping by PT Time with Tim. Be sure to check out my other hand treatment videos as you continue on your pathway to living a pain-free, active, and adventurous lifestyle.